lesson is on fractions. To be more specific, parts of a set. Woohoo! I'm so excited. This is so much fun. I love it. And you're going to love it too. Let's get to it. Here's our set. Woo! A big set it is. Well, what we need to do here is find the fraction that represents the total number of triangles in this set. Well, I'm going to start with finding the denominator. The denominator is the total number of shapes in that set. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The denominator is nine. Now we're going to find the numerator. The numerator is the total number of triangles in this set. Hmm. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five. The numerator is five. So the fraction for this set is 5 ninths. Out of 9 shapes, 5 of them are triangles. Let's move on to our next example. Ta-da! Alright, once again, we are going to find the fraction that represents the total number of circles in this set. So what do we do first? We have to find the denominator. We have to count all the shapes, and that will be our denominator. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Our denominator is eleven. Now we have to find the numerator. The numerator is the total number of circles in our set. Let's count. One, two. The numerator is two. All right. The fraction is two elevenths. Hmm. So that means out of 11 shapes in this set, two of them are circles. And that concludes our lesson on fractions, parts of a set. Coach Mike at My Growing Brain. Challenge yourself.